And the currency quadrant, new low in the Japanese yen again. The Japanese broke down against the US dollar to the lowest level in over three decades today. The low today, 64.89 half, was down a little over four tenths of a percent. The high today, we're gonna to call it unchanged. The high was 65.17 in the June futures, where yesterday's settlement was 65.16 and a half. So you're talking about a one basis point move, we'll call that unchanged. The yen is now down three of the last five sessions and at the midway point is working on its seventh straight down week. The yen is now down just about nine and a half percent year to date. Interestingly, since the rally from 2007 to 2008 that ended in the October 2008 highs, the yen has not been in a longer term bull market. As a matter of fact, since that October 2008 high, the yen has lost 51% of its value. Intervention is now on the table. Central bank intervention in the yen becomes a factor when prices reach this low of a level. There's been intervention recently, but not on a very large scale, given that the there is a Bank of Japan interest rate meeting coming up on Thursday night. Officials will be able to discuss intervention or any sort of long-term plans for it. As they've said recently, they will take necessary steps to address excessive moves in the yen if needed. I would assume three decades low might qualify as excessive. In a statement last week, US, Japan, and South Korea said they would continue to consult closely on foreign exchange market developments, acknowledging serious concerns about the sharp depreciation of the Japanese and Korean currencies. Also, the US dollar was stronger today based on higher U.S. Treasury yields, having its best day against the Swiss franc, followed closely by the Canadian dollar, and then you guessed it, the Japanese yen.